What's going on, guys? So, over the past couple of months, I have been haunted. Not by anything sinister, not by anything bad, but by Grid Studio Frames. Now, if you don't know what a Grid Studio Frame is, basically it's this really cool-looking frame with old phones disassembled in this frame. Uh, and it's really cool. I was watching a Spawn Point video, and he showed off his Grid Studio, and I thought, oh, yep, great, that's great, I want one. You know, being a tech enthusiast, being someone who likes to fix and disassemble phones, I really wanted one. Uh, so I went on the internet, had a search, saw the price tag, and decided I don't, I don't need one that much. As much as I'd really like them, I just, I just can't afford it. I can't justify it. But that got me thinking, what if I tried to make my own DIY grid studio? You know, I've sort of done it before. As you can see in the background, I've got this. Now, this is nowhere near as good as a grid studio display uh, at all. But it is my old iPhone and it is in a frame. Uh, and I did this three or four years ago. Um, but obviously it's nowhere near as disassembled or as neatly laid out as the grid studio one. But if I could do this again in a nicer frame, have some labeling, maybe I'll get some of what grid studio has got going for it. So for my design, I am going to use an iPhone SE that I have sitting around. I really like the look of the old iPhone SE or the iPhone 5S. Uh, I have a few of them that are broken. And at this point, you know, you don't really get that much for parts on eBay selling them as iCloud lock devices. So I figure that's a good way to use that phone. And it's not a phone that I'm really wasting too much. So the Grid Studio design is really unique. It has the name of the device, you know, so if it's an iPhone, it has the name of the iPhone and it has all the specs. It has little labels for every part. It has lines leading every part to every other part and it looks really cool and really professional. But in order to do that, you would need to know some math and know how to use Photoshop properly or Adobe InDesign properly. I don't know how to do that. So in this version one of my grid studio with the iPhone SE, I have just put the logo uh, and the name and the date it was released. It's definitely not as neat or as cool looking, but I think, you know, considering this is a trial run basically and the first version, uh, if we can lay it out and have all the parts or most of the parts laid out really cool, I think it could still look pretty neat. And, you know, if it works really well, then maybe I'll try to revise it and do a better second version that has more info on it. So basically all I did was get a blank Photoshop document. I put the iPhone SE logo on there, put the date it was released on there, and then I printed that out. So this is what it looks like so far. It's just a blank document in a shadow box. I purchased this shadow box from the reject shop here in Australia. It's nothing special, um, but I think it actually looks pretty neat. Um, it's a V1, so if it looks any good at the end of the day, I can always remake it, reprint it, print it on some nicer paper, and make it look as good as possible. So now that we've got the frame, I'm gonna set up a camera and we're gonna film me disassembling the iPhone laying it out and hopefully eventually gluing it in the frame and we're going to see how it turns out hopefully it turns out really cool um because if it does i'm going to try and make a few of these and have multiple different models of phones and apple products or android products displayed in my room just because it looks cool uh anyway without uh any more fuss let's get to making my diy grid studio have it not a perfect diy grid studio but definitely not the worst thing i've ever seen either you know there are definitely some imperfections uh you can see a little bit of glue if you look closely the battery is probably a little bit too far over to the right and you know things aren't exactly straight but overall i'm pretty happy with how this turned out you know it was a bit of fun it only took me about an hour and a half maybe two hours to to everything all up um, obviously filming sometimes takes a bit longer, but 
I think overall, you know, this is a pretty fun project if you are interested in making, you know, a little bit of tech art that you can put on your wall. Sure, it's no grid studio, but you know what? I think it's pretty darn good for a first attempt. If you do like it, let me know in the comments uh, because maybe we'll make a second revision and we can sort of add some more details, do a different phone and make it look even better. But thank you for watching. Please do hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.